The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. <clears throat> Hi, Pepe, you okay? I'm okay, yeah. Good. I know I can, yeah. half the time you can understand what I say, so I'll try and speak clearly this time. <laughs> um, but bear in mind that the, the injury to Vincent Company and the fact that Benjamin Mendy's out, do you feel you need to sign anyone in January? We're thinking cover? about it. I'm honest, we're thinking about it. One. We are in that department, we have few, 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 few players. And of course, uh, to handle all competitions, we are in trouble, really trouble. But I can assure you um, anything. So we are thinking about it with the club, which you are going to see what happened in, 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 in January. Uh, it was interesting, just at the end of, of Sunday's game, your staff wanted you to go and celebrate with the away fans, but you were sort of, no, 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 not yet. Was that because you just feel that the job's not done yet, or, or what were your emotions then? Or? No, sometimes the, the people expect you, sometimes you, you feel you go. For example, what ridiculous I did against with, uh, with Redmond. So I don't want to do that, believe me. But sometimes you do that. But uh, sometimes you control yourself and say, okay, it's not necessary to go there. It's a, it's a lot of games to play. So it's, we didn't win absolutely anything. So we go in the locker room, calm, and the game was calm with the uh, circumstances and of course football you discuss about this penalty or penalty uh, the main penalty is not penalty we can discuss that is part of the football so I understand and not to go to the locker room so but the game it was a normal game fight for both teams and I said the same so we are happy we won but we have the game was finished with drop because the save for the to shoot for Lukaku and Mata <laughs> was a, normally is a goal that action normally is a goal but also the hair made amazing safer so so I think it can happen normal and, 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 and that is what it is. That is what I live in, in the game and, and after the game. Pat, you just saying now that certain things you don't need, deem them necessary maybe to go over and celebrate too much on a pitch. Is it in your mind that you have to remain respectful? Guys, to say, we've got no, this. So. Yeah, but Sam, it's not about thank you, Simon. You think, to go to celebrate with your fans is part in, in Germany Every team in the world go with their fans, stay there, winning or losing, go there. So, so I said when I arrived, when we play away after the game, winning, draw, losing, you have to go in our fence, in front of our fence to say thank you to come. So we play for our fence, and after that, even the, the, the last action of the game finished in that area. So it was in the corner, finished with Bernardo or uh, Kevin in there, it was in front of the fence, we were going to celebrate, but in normal way, we didn't make nothing exceptional. So and I think the reaction for the players after the game showed us. So after that was the locker room, it happened what happened. So hopefully, I, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen, it's not going to happen again. So if, if, and I said something else, if we were not correct or something like that, apologize to all Manchester United. Our intention was not that. Our intention was celebrate inside the locker room our happiness because we were happy. So if the people can understand that, I'm sorry. So we were so happy. We won a derby, and we want to celebrate in the locker room. If in that comment we will offend for Man United, not just one player, not Jose, not the players. Man United, I apologize. So for side to United City. So sometimes Man United make a lot of in the past, a lot of celebrations for the city. So it's part of the, it's part of the everything. All the managers celebrate. Sometimes uh, when we exceed a little bit, but in that case, I think on the pitch after the game didn't happen. We went to the locker room and we tried to celebrate it there. Because I encourage to my players to do that. So because we have to enjoy that moment. We cannot, okay, we won, okay, we stay high. If we win, we celebrate in that day. No. Because when we lose, we have to be sad. We have to feel something angry to don't happen again for the next game. That is where we live. And that will explain what happened. So given what you just said then, is it a sign that Jose Mourinho is a bad loser the way he reacted by coming to your No, 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 I didn't say no. No, I'm asking you. Okay, no. fair enough. So moving you on. Wanna, you go to Old Trafford, you ask to him about that. But I always, I said, sure. I never had one comment about what they did. Anything. I'm just asking you, I'm not no, saying. I'm asking, asking what we did, what we, uh, 
uh, after the game and the players know exactly what the others did. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not the guy to 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 answer. Okay, so moving on. How important uh, is the success of your team this season in terms of winning titles, Premier League, Champions League? How important are Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva? You talked about injuries before. If these two were to become injuries, hopefully it won't happen, but if they would become injured, how difficult would it be for your team to win titles? So you don't want, don't you want to get injured, huh? Sure, huh? Eh? Ah, okay. It's not your desire. It's not your desire. No, no. No, okay. No, I'm joking. I'm interested in neutral. No, okay. Listen, um, we're going to, of course, we're going to, to lose uh, uh, two important players, but we're going to find a solution. So... Of course, they are, they are so important players, and the season is long. But when it doesn't happen, so Gundo will be there. Will be there ready. Bernardo will be ready. Phil Foden will be ready. Yada, Yaya will be ready. So we're going to find a solution to that. Hi, Pep. With um, John Stones and Vincent Company out, how important does um, Elayek and Mangala become now? Yeah. But okay, I use. Less so the reason why in the half time I didn't put Mangalas in in the beginning because uh, I tried to send a message to the players. But sometimes you send a message to the players making a substitutes to say, okay, we wanted to win the game, and I want a good build up against Lukaku and of course Dino and, and Nico. They are stronger in that period. After I scored a goal, and I thought is going to come in Ibrahimovic because in the last period, in the last games, when Ibrahimovic was ready to play, always finished the games with two strikers. I decided to put Mangala in front and put a striker because I want more control. I have one more man in the middle to create more passes, more passes, more passes with uh, with David Silva like a striker and put uh, uh, Leroy and Rice to make a movement so runs in behind. That is where they, uh, what we did, but of course, the confidence in the potential for, for Mangala, where he played, for example, in Leicester or in the long balls, of course, is a strong player. And of course, it's going to help us not just in that moment, like Vincent and John, they are not fit, so in the rest of the season. You didn't like his hat, though. He took his hat off when he was warming up. Sorry? He took his hat off while he was warming up. He had a I don't like it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because I don't like this hat, hat <laughs> the cold, you know? <laughs> no, no. To warm up is without hat. Um, how would you describe the spirit of this team? Because everybody talks about the, the quality. You see the, the results that you've got over the last few weeks and also just the way they celebrate together. It does look like that is the yeah. sign of a, a very healthy team spirit, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. But uh, uh, the, the, I think the most important thing is that the, the spirit didn't lose last season. That want to make them confident. So, of course, when you win a lot of games, help you to, you know, to, to, to create, to build that spirit. But last season, we didn't miss that. We were more sad. We were more upset because the results was like not a spec. But uh, but was was okay. But of course, so it's impossible to achieve 14 games in a row just to play in football, just to tactics. Forget it. Helps a lot because that's why we are managers to know what the opponents they do, what they play. What we wanted to do in the quality of our players, but of course there are a lot of things, a lot of how we sell, how we leave the draw for the Champions League yesterday all together with the staff all together to enjoy the draw. Um, how um, many things, how we celebrate after the, the the games in the locker room all together, not just the players, no matter how involved the players they don't play, how we are involved in that. That is the basis to create something in the club, and that's why. And after that, you don't know it's just the tactic is the consequence of the results, or, or that is the first consequence for the result. I don't know. But I think when both can be together, you are in a stronger team and on the feet and, and keep fighting. Because even with 1 1, the first minute we try, in the first minute we have the ball to try to win, to win the game. So the people can discuss many things, but the people show we were there to try to play our game. So in Old Trafford and bigger stages, when Old Trafford is so demanding about the history, about the just the presence for the stadium, we were there to say, wow, we were there. And that is, and after we draw, okay, we lose because United is, is you have a big challenge, so you have the feeling when they arrive there, they are so dangerous. You have the feeling, you smell, when Rashford, Martial, win across, they are there, so wow, they are dangerous, and you can lose the game, but also with the men before the game is okay, nobody knows that, but we have to do what we have done in Napoli, in Stamford Bridge, in Liverpool at home, in, uh, in Huddersfield away, 
You have to do that. And, and we did it. That's why uh, we, we, nobody can assure you, but uh, I, my feeling is right now, I don't know in the future, we're going to play the finals, the, and we're going to try to do that. And you, sometimes hypothetical, we are good enough to achieve quarterfinals, semifinals, in a, maybe in the bigger stages. Only I want to ask is to be that. And after, of course, the opponents play and the talent and the opponents of the count. Hi, Pep. The last four games in the Premier League, they've all been 2-1. The team's obviously still showing a lot of good qualities, but the biggest score lines from earlier in the season have yeah. been there. What do you think is the biggest difference there? Is it the, the approach of the team, the opposition, no. or your team a bit more I think the, I think the approach is the same. So I, th I talk to the players to so forget about it until the 2 of January, 3 of January, after what for game, all the games will be like we live in the last period. So forget about it to score four, five, and six goals. All the games, if we win, we'll be able in that result. Because I saw the results that we can, even the top players, except except uh, Trotter and the win, everybody suffers. So I can imagine going now to Burley game, or Stock game, or this kind of games. So forget about it. But of course, we have to improve because the last game I have the feeling even 1-0, you have a one contra-attack to make a 2-0 and after 1-1. One, one, in the second half, we hit three or four contra-attack. We didn't finish for anything except one shoot for for that. In our mentality, with our strikers, winger have to be a little bit more aggressive in that. We have to improve on that because we have to have the challenge to close the game and always we are still open. And when this happens, the opponents are so good, especially in the in advanced stages in the knockout uh, competitions. This one last year. Hello, Pat. Just on Mangala, the club almost sold him in the summer, um, which would indicate that you perhaps thought he wasn't the correct fit for your team. Uh, what has he done to change your mind on that? We, we were clear on Mangala, we want to find a solution, but the moment we didn't find it, the first minute after I met him in my office, I said, now you are our player, you will be treated like the other one. So the reason why we want to look for another type of players, you know that. And of course, he has a quality that, for example, other central defenders we don't have. And, uh, and of course, in some games, it's going to help us. So now it's part of ours. But uh, we are maybe maybe thinking, looking for another central defenders, but the problems with the Vincent. Because uh, with a lot of games, and now John Stones was, uh, will be four or five weeks off, and, and the season, nobody knows going to happen. And that's why, in terms of injury, not just about Vincent, about Kevin or Silva, and everybody's concerned about that, also with the central defenders. Because we, we miss an important player, like, for example, Mendy, six months, and we have just Fabian Dell and Sinchenko. And that's why uh, we are thinking about what, what we have to do in, in, a winter, in the winter time. Okay, okay thank you, guys. Thank you.